The money is coming, so are the jobs. Ontario universities and colleges will collect more than a billion dollars in infrastructure money over the next two years. Today, in Ottawa, a good chunk of that cash went to two hometown universities and one college. Here's CTV's Norman Fetterly. Carleton University President Roseanne Runta knows how to lobby for infrastructure dollars. I got a letter from Roseanne. It included this little uh, bulldozer. She was giving me a little hint that she wanted some money for infrastructure. Today, Ontario Minister Jim Watson trumped that with a bigger bulldozer and millions in cash. <laughs> Theater aside, Carleton, the University of Ottawa, and La Cité Collégiale were all big cash winners in the infrastructure sweepstakes. $80 million goes to the University of Ottawa for renovations and the addition of a tower to Vanier Hall. Carleton gets $52 million to house the Faculty of Public Affairs, and La Cité Collégiale will have $26 million to build a new 911 Emergency Services Institute. Federal Minister John Baird says it's an infrastructure investment that's about more than just building. We put particular value on uh, higher education, not just because it can create jobs in the short term through construction and through materials, but it allow Canada to come out of this uh, uh, economic period stronger than ever to be able to create even more jobs. Seventy million more in infrastructure dollars has already been announced for a new trades building at Algonquin College. It's all a welcome cash shower for Ottawa's post-secondary institutions. We're united in gratitude. Gratitude to governments who've now made it possible, as you've heard, for us to go forward with important projects that will strengthen our campuses and increase opportunities for students. <laughs> and what goes with Carleton's provincial toy dump truck? Well, how about a federal hard hat? Norman Federally, CTV News.